Good morning, you're watching the panel. Welcome back. This is the show that covers everything student life in and around Nottingham, from lifestyle to advice, from entertainment to news, we have it all. Speaking of which, look who's back on the sofa. Glad to be back in the studio as opposed to that cold Christmas market. I am, I'm so excited to be back here as well. Yeah, I do, I have missed it. Today. I missed you too. Yes, I'm a cuddle. <laughs> oh my God, I'm loving this. I'm loving you being, I gotta say, I was very, very lonely. Where very lonely. I was very lonely. God bless. I was. But I'm glad you're back. I'm so I'm glad you're glad back. That, yeah, and are you glad you're back? I am, of course I am. Ready to get stuck in? Yeah, let's go. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> right, so coming up today, as you may or may not be aware, unless you live under a rock, it's January and that means exam season is here. Whether you are ravishing in the long library hours or drowning in essay deadlines, we thought you might need some help. So we brought our Agnion Alice here in the studio where she will be answering some of your questions a bit later on. But first, we like to keep you updated with some of the biggest news stories this month. In breaking news, more burglaries have taken place in Lenton, located only one mile from the main University Park campus. Heather Silcock and her housemates were asleep when the breaking on their Derby Road residence occurred in the early hours of January the 8th. The psychology third year told the tab that told the tab that her bag, which contained her revision notes, laptop and money, among other items, was stolen from the downstairs living area. It is, th it is thought that the police think that the robber gained entry to the property with a crowbar. In other news, the NUS president has spoken out against an investigation by the Daily Mail, revealing a hate campaign across various campuses. It has been widely reported that the notorious ISIS supporter group named CAGE have been involved in at least 13 student events this term, with representatives being given unchallenged platforms. Megan Dunn, who succeeded former favourite Tony Pierce, says that she is writing to students' union presidents to say that the investigation by national newspaper is an attack designed to undermine our legitimate concerns and our work to keep students safe. It is thought that up to seven universities which held cage-linked events could now face an investigation by the Higher Education Funding Council. And finally now, a university student accused of rape um, told the court that his alleged victim sent him flirty Facebook messages after they engaged in intercourse. 21-year-old Louis Richardson claimed his alleged victim called him a sexy menace as he told the jury she sent him a photo on Facebook of herself wearing a bra. The history student denied raping the woman while she was unresponsive. He also denied assaulting a second woman claiming she moved his hand to her breast. The undergraduate faces one charge of rape and three accusations of sexual assault. That's all the news for now, and for more on these stories, we'll be posting links onto our Twitter account. Sorry, Twitter? Twitter? Blah, 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 Twitter account. Follow at the panel underscore TV for more. But now for all those excruciating exam dilemmas, our agony aunt Alice is here on the sofa this morning. Hi, Alice. Welcome, Hello. Alice. How are you dealing with your exams? I don't actually have any exams, which is great, but I do have essay deadlines, so I you know how it feels. Although saying so. that, you do have, I was going to say, you lucky, oh, but you do have essay deadlines, so that is okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. give her, we'll give her, um, we'll give her, oh my God, I forgot the word. We will give her, oh my God. What the word? Come on, spit it out. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what I'm saying. We we gave we're giving you um what's it um benefit of the doubt. Um, that's thank it. You, we'll the give bod. You benefit of the doubt. Bod. Oh, that's a nice alliteration mm. there. Right. So this is the exam special. Yes. First stress. and foremost, why are exams so important? Well, you know, I suppose every kind of kind of thinks of uni as you're here to get a degree, pretty much. When most yeah. people kind of think of it as like nights out kind of thing. Um, but you are here to actually get a certificate with a pretty good degree on at the end of it. And that's why exams are important. You know, first year, you just need to pass them, have some fun. Um, second and third year, you do kind of have to get it right first time. And there's pretty much no point in coming to uni mm. if you don't get a 2-1. So, Ooh. <laughs> let's be honest here. That's a sweeping statement from you, Alice. That's a sweeping statement, though, to be fair, because there are, there are a lot of... I suppose as long as you try your best, there are a lot of jobs out there which... You just you have need a degree. Um, You've also got to have personality as well. Yeah, because you know you could get a first and be a total plank. Are you saying so, we yeah. don't have personality? Oh hell no! You've got personality. <laughs> <laughs> you are sassy. You are sassy. <laughs> That's me. What can I say? Um, so what would you say is the best time for people to work then? <clears throat> um, it is hard because I suppose revision kind of has to start over Christmas, yeah. which is really annoying. It's kind of a time when you just want to you know 
play with your presents and eat cheese boards. Mm. But, you know, you do have to get the work going. Um, it's, what, two Christmases, because first year, you know, you just got to pass it. But two Christmases of your life when you've just got to do a bit of work on the side. Mm. Even if you just start doing, like, your revision notes, um, make some revision cards, whatever, and actually learn them when you get back to uni, then, you know, you just got to start getting the ball rolling. So do you think that's the best way to um, prepare for exams? Um, I always found that my best way was to do my revision notes, make some revision cards on stuff I was really stuck on and go through them once a night mm. and pass papers. I did them over and over and over, even if it was the same one, just kept printing them out and doing them and over and over again. Because then you kind of just learn the questions and answers. It's always the same. And what's the best way to deal with housemate stress? Because, oh, this is the worst. Yeah, because mm. I suppose a lot of students at uni live with a big group of people and not everyone's got the same deadlines. And Yeah, I suppose them. you've kind of got to treat each other with respect because, you know, you might want to go out one night but someone's got an exam mm. the next morning at night and it's a bit out of order if you wake them up stumbling in drunk or whatever. So, um, you know, you've got to, I think you've just got to have respect for each other, appreciate you're all going to be a bit stressed because it is a really stressful time right it now. Um, and, you know, just take things easy. So keep them a bit at um, kind of arm's length, give them the respect, set yeah. the boundary. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, what would you say are the best foods to eat and the best drinks to drink during this period? Well, <laughs> I say brain food, apparently tuna is a brain food. To get yourself a couple of tins. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a jacket potato. Yeah, jacket potato, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tuna pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then drink-wise, I suppose everybody says go for water to keep yourself hydrated, but I think a can of Red Bull keeps you going, you know? <laughs> that might be the worst possible <laughs> drink to drink. Yeah, even though probably. I am guilty of it, but that could be the everybody worst. Everybody is. Well, it's when you've got a deadline and you're up all night, mm. just get yourself a Red Bull of two or three and then... Maybe even four. Know, maybe sit even, in the library. Maybe even um, four or five. Um, I've actually got a suggestion. I've actually got this in my mug right now. I've actually got lemon and honey in here. Hot lemon and honey. Um, you have, I think, a teaspoon of lemon, two teaspoons of honey, boiling water from a kettle. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> so messy. I thought that was meant for throats. It is. It is yeah. good for throats. But I love it because it's it's you get that relaxing feeling from the hot drink. Yeah. But you don't get the caffeine feeling, you don't get the headaches, you don't get the buzz, you don't get the not sleepiness feeling. Mm -hmm. So That's you get a really good idea. you get the relaxation, you get the nice warm feeling, and it's good for the throat at the same time. <laughs> there we go, just your top tips as well. My top tips. <laughs> well, this is your segment, not I mine. Know, I was gonna say, I'm gonna I'm gonna get sacked now. <laughs> right <laughs> then. We will make sure you don't get sacked. Oh thank you, thank you. <laughs> Right then, now we've got some questions that have been sent in from some of the viewers. Additionally, if you do have any other questions about dilemmas, you can send them in to us via our Twitter, at the pan underscore TV, and we'll try and get them answered in our future programmes. Indeed. Right, so, we have our first question. Dear Alice, some of my friends use study drugs to help them concentrate. I know it's wrong, but I have trouble focusing on revision and I can't lie, I am very tempted. What should I do? And this is from Sam. Sam, thank you for your question. Well, Sam, um, a lot of people do take study drugs, you know, they, and, you know, some people it does help, which, you know, isn't actually a good thing. Um, you shouldn't take them, you know, that's my advice. Drugs are illegal for a reason, so, um, yeah, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> um, you know, I think the best way to do it is you just need to have a clear mind, get a good night's sleep, eat eat your jacket potato with your tuna, um, you know, drink have your lemon and food. honey. Have the brain food. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, you know, um, you don't need study drugs to do well at all. You can do it yourself, and I think you feel better if you've done it yourself as well and you haven't had to take drugs to help you get there. Mm. So don't do drugs. Mm. <laughs> OK, right, we're going to go on to the next question. It's, it says, hey, Alice, um, so my friend from abroad really wants to come and visit in the UK. And what really wants to come to the UK to visit. Um, I barely get to see her, but the only time she can come is at the end of this week when I have an exam. What should I say to her from Jane? So, oh, thank you for your question. Yeah, you. That's a really tough one, actually. Yeah, yeah. that is hard. Um, I suppose because it's a friend from abroad, they're making the effort to come over and see you. 
it's a bit hard to say like, oh, sorry, mate, I've got exams. Um, I think you could tell her, like, I've got exams. If you still want to come, you're welcome, but I will be revising and be a bit boring. But as soon as my exams are done, we'll go out and have fun. Yeah. Um, even if she could just, like, get a flight, a, you know, day later or whatever when you don't have the exam. No, I suppose any time together is, you know, precious time, good time. Although saying that, it does depend where she's coming from as well, because if she's coming from Spain then the, or Italy for, or Portugal per se, then the flights to get to the UK might be easier. But if she's coming from a long way from somewhere like Canada or America or somewhere in the Middle East where students are on a year abroad on exchange programmes, it might be a bit hard. Yeah. To get to get the long foot to get the long haul flight, so it's all well and good. Tell her if it's warmer there, then stay there because it is freezing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't bother. <laughs> In other news, yeah. it did snow the other the other day, so it did, yeah. it did, and I think snow is the biggest inconvenience. So <laughs> weather, please heat up asap. Um, right on to our next question yeah. alice i need help my sleeping patterns are completely messed up i feel as though i cannot concentrate properly in the day and as a result i'm in the library working in the evening till the early hours because of this i sleep during the day and this is having a huge negative effect on my social life he ends the message with s o s <laughs> this is from jack well jack i suppose sleeping patterns you know they do end up pretty bad when you're at uni, you know, going out partying and sleeping all day. Um, I suppose even though it's not great right now, you've kind of got to stay up for a whole day, make yourself really tired and then sleep at night and then you'll really appreciate it and hopefully get back into a normal, healthy sleeping pattern. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, you've just got to man it out for a day and then hopefully you'll be back to normal and then you'll be able to con concentrate, get on with your deadlines and yeah. exams and whatever. Hmm. OK, and on to our final question. Alice, I wonder if you could help me. I am part of a society committee, but I am struggling to juggle my essay work with my responsibilities and work that is required within my society. I am tempted to quit, but I feel like that I'd be letting everyone down. What do I do? And that, this is actually from another Alice, so thank you for getting in touch. Oh, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alice. <laughs> um, I think I've got to say that question. I think we can all relate to yeah, a bit, I think don't, don't you a think? Very relatable question to a lot of students here. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah, you obviously don't want to be the person to let everyone down. Um, but everybody is stressed right now. Everybody's got exams, deadlines. So I'll understand if you just say, "Look, guys, I'm really sorry. I can't do X this month because I've got exams." You know, everybody will understand. Just talk to them. Talk to your president because you know they're probably really stressed out too if they're running the place. So, yeah. you know, just. Communication's key. <laughs> it is. You're, you are absolutely right. Well, thank you for your advice, Alice. I actually think we should engage in a relaxing yoga session. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like we, like we did in yoga, episode one. So yes. I think put down your script, Lydia. Right, okay. And I think we're going to do this, Alice. So Ooh. shake shake it out. I'm by no, way, by, I'm by no means shake a yoga instructor, out. but shake My it out and, <laughs> and breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Do we feel more relaxed? So relaxed. And Lydia is so, you are so zen She's right so zen, now. Yeah. She is so zen. I am I loving am. this. This is I'm sassy and zen. <laughs> sassy and zen, ying to my yang. yang. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? Ying yeah, and I yang? Think that suits, like that, that suits definitely. Am I ying? I think you should get matching tattoos. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not one for tattoos. <laughs> you again? I think you're yin, I'm yang. Yeah. Um, one more thing, Alice, are you feeling better? Because yes. you weren't in the Christmas episode because you had a... Um, yeah, I was a bit ill, Aww. but I've got the scar, but I live to tell the tale, so, oh you know. Gosh. Yeah, but I'm good now, I'm good. And did you have to apply for extenuating circumstances? Um, I was actually meant to be getting my tonsils out two days ago. Um, but like you're a trooper. <laughs> I know, but I've cancelled it um, just because I've got deadlines and group work you can't get extensions on. Mm. So I thought, you know, I'll sacrifice my health, it's fine. <laughs> well, I d I'm, no, I that's, that's not really that much of a good suggestion coming from our acting on. No, um, no, it's just I couldn't get extensions on. It's only tonsil removal. I can wait till, you know, May, June, whenever, whenever all the deadlines are done. It's not urgent. If it was urgent, mm. of course, you get the deadlines extended and so to the people in the group work. They'd understand. Well, what I do ask, is 
and we'll we'll spin we'll have a little Agni aunt spin on this. What advice do you give to students dedicate um, suffering with medical issues such as this and dealing with the whole stress of exams, extenuating circumstances? What would be your top advice for them? Um, you've definitely got to get your application in for ex like extended deadlines straight away. Uh, make sure it's guaranteed. Um, you've got to put your health first, definitely. You know, you won't do your best as well if you're not feeling great. You know, you've got to keep yourself on form, keep yourself on top of it. So, um, you know, definitely put your health first. And then if you need extended deadlines, yeah, you might be a bit of a pain in the arse. But people have to understand because everybody gets ill every so often. And if you're one of those people, you know, this was like, what, two weeks I was off uni. Fine now. Um, people are ill all year round, you know, you get people with like conditions and stuff and, you know, if the uni's aware of it, you, you know, there's nothing you can do and there's nothing they can do to stop you. So, yeah, just keep yourself on form. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for that advice, Alice. Amazing, as always. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for for today, mm -hmm. but next month we'll be back once again with all the latest in student lifestyle, culture and entertainment as we continue our panel varsity competition and we debut a dessert recipe for our monthly breakfast. I'm very excited mm -hmm. for that. I'm really excited. That's my favourite part of the show. I love that so Isn't much. it the best? Isn't <laughs> yeah, it the best? It and also, I understand you're going to be back mm -hmm. once again next month for yes, Valentine's. Yes, Valentine's special. So romantic <laughs> absolutely even though it'll be after valentine's day but you're still going to give your dating hints and tips yeah yeah exactly it's valentine's day all year round you know yeah. people always get asked out and stuff so you know that is a really cringeable thought that's well, it's true. Valentine's Day all year round. That's well, you don't so send cringeable. cards to everyone all year round, but you know. <laughs> I'll send you a card. Oh, really? Oh, thanks. It'd be like my first ever one. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. We should be. You what, we should laugh at that. My mum used to send me them. My mum used to send me them in primary school. Because <laughs> no one asked it. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that's what life is tragic. tragic. This show is turning into a therapy session, I think. <laughs> I know, I have to counsel session. myself. Um, well, it's uh, time for that tradition. Yeah, but then it's time for goodbye from all of us. So, yeah. From tradition. All of us here. Oh. We always do this. You ready, Alice? Yeah. Have a good morning. Good morning, Nottingham. <laughs>